welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here welcome thanks so much for coming by and I do hope you will subscribe so you can catch more fun videos like this one so today I am here with a fun kind of different video for you guys today and it is all about wine and lip stains yes I said wine and lip stains not to worry though you are still eligible to watch this video if you are under 21 so if you guys want to hear what I'm talking about and see some swatches and all that sort of stuff, then let's get into it. Alright guys, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about something fun and silly that I saw. Oddly enough, I saw it on like an Instagram like a Facebook ad um, but I decided that I wanted to pick these up and these are the Manzai Manzai Mayo Mayo I'm not sure wine lip tints okay so these do come from amazon.com and for a bundle of six they retail for 886 which is like a dollar and a half ish a lip stain or you can buy um, them individually for like two dollars and something so if you decide you like one of these you can purchase a single one if you don't want the whole collection but you get them for cheaper if you buy the whole little set here so these are the um, wine lip tints and these are it says lip gloss waterproof and I have the shade uh, Merlot Burgundy on right now. I'm going to try them all on for you. So like I said, these are a super affordable lip stain. So let's talk pros and cons. So pros, they smell like wine. Um, I'm fairly confident they are made from wine um, just because of the way they smell. Um, if not, it's some dang good wine like scenting, um, <laughs> but I, they don't taste like anything. Um, so just FYI, um, but they do smell like one, which smells absolutely amazing. Um, the applicator is a doe foot applicator and it, the stain actually looks a little bit darker. Like as you can see on my lips, it looks a lot darker on the, the stick here than it does on my actual lips. They do stain the lips and they do last a long time on the lips, but I definitely find that I need a lip liner. I'm not wearing a lip liner right now, so you might be able to see there's kind of some, some seepage happening just because I'm getting ready to try all these on for you, and it doesn't make sense to use a lip liner. It'll just be even more impossible. Um, so I definitely do recommend a lip liner with these as a lip stain over top, but they do last a really long time and last well on the lips, and when they do fade, they fade pretty naturally. They dry down all the way. There's like a little bit of stick, but not too bad. If you overbuild these though, if you um, if you put too many layers on, they do get sticky. They're a little bit transfer proof. I mean, they're a little bit transfer proof. They can transfer a little bit if you put too much on, but because I don't have too much on, it didn't transfer. So really don't have a problem with the longevity of these. Overall, I really enjoy them. I think they're a nice formula and they're really cool for two dollars and something although I will say they do come from China although it does seem like they're made from natural ingredients but my assumption is because they are made in China they're not cruelty free don't don't um don't uh, I don't know for sure but I'm just guessing because I'm pretty sure they can't be cruelty free in China um, but I'm not sure but anyway so these are an excellent lip stain and I highly recommend them plus they're cute and they smell like wine so <laughs> Um, yeah, lots of fun. These are super cute. And let's go ahead and show you some swatches on my hand and on my lips. This is PK01 Blush Pink. This is OR01 Chardonnay Orange. Um, and that's something I did want to mention. You can probably see around this bottle. There was some leakage when it came so you definitely have to seal these carefully although I've had them in my purse and haven't run into any issues but I would definitely try to keep these upright if you can and this was the only bottle out of the six that I had any issue with so I don't know if maybe it came loose or something but just something to know this is RD01 Syrah Red my assumption is it's made from the different types of wines they mention this one is CR01 Rose Coral 
This one is RD02 um, Nibilo, Nibiliolo, I'm not sure, red at any rate. This one is RD3 Merlot Burgundy, which is what I have on my lips right now. So you guys can probably tell some of these aren't super different, um, like these two are pretty similar. These two up top are pretty similar, so you don't necessarily need all of them, but they certainly are cheaper in the set, so why not? Okay, you know, guys, so I hope this video was helpful for you and it um, it was fun. <laughs> so if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you have any questions about this that I forgot to answer, because I always forget something when I'm talking, so if you have any questions about these, please be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And I'll be happy to answer them. Otherwise, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And don't forget to click that subscribe button before you go so you don't miss future videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.